Okay, so here we are. We've made our manipulated text. I'm going to move this over really quick so it's within reach. I want to show you guys um, uh, a couple fun little uh, shapes that you can make um, using Illustrator. Um, so we've got um, a rectangle tool. You'll need two or more objects to create these things. It's called a compound path. I'm going to select a rectangle. Um, and I'm going to create, I'll we'll use a polygon. Change this up a little bit. Okay. So compound path, what that is, um, is it is an object that works together. Uh, you've seen a compound path. Oh, perfect, right here. This is a compound path, right? There's the outer shape and then there's the inner shape and they work together. You know they work together because when you move the O around, I'm gonna put this in behind this. You can see through that O, right? You can see this. You see through the O. Okay. Now, sometimes you might have a, a drawing element or you might want an effect where you have something that you want it to do what this O is doing, right? But since we're on a white background, your shortcut, and I've seen this many of times and I remember doing it myself, you will fill it and it's a good fake, right? It looks like it, you see through it and if you move it together, the illusion is complete. Well, I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste this and I'll put this right here. So I'm going to show you how to make it real, right? Like the true test is if I'm dragging it over an area, kind of like this O shape, I can see through it. I cannot see through this. Can you see this? Um, and so what I'm gonna do to create a shape that's very much like an O, I'm gonna, here are my two objects, right? You can see. I'm going to put this one right on top. I have to select both of them. So with my black arrow tool, I select both shapes. Okay. And I'm going to go to Object, Compound Path, Make. Okay. Now, if I drag this over, it is just like an O you see, you're able to see through it. So this is helpful if there is um, a pattern, you know, that you've, let's say you might have a pattern here that you wanna use and you wanna just put this on top and you wanna want this pattern to look like it's inside the shape, you can do that. So that's a nice little um, thing that you can do with shapes, that compound path. I'm going to show you. So you can do that with objects, right? Um, if you remember, once we convert type into outlines, it is an object. So what I can do is I can take my awesome V shape here, right? 
I'm gonna put this, as you can see, I dragged it over it and it's behind it. So I'm gonna put the V on top. It's usually best that the shape that's smaller is on top. So I'm gonna put this And I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I'll hold down my shift key so it keeps its proportions. So I've got my two shapes. I'm going to select both of them by dragging my black arrow tool over them. Right? They're both selected. Or you can select them one by one up to you. So I'm just going to do that. And I'm going to go object, compound path, make. And it moves together. The coloring is the same and it is see-through. So sometimes you can create really fun effects this way. Um, if you've seen a logo that has some kind of shape and another shape or letter form inside, this is very much, there's a high possibility that this is how that logo was made at some point in time. Okay. So that's a fun object um, trick uh, in Illustrator. So a compound path, you can make it with two objects or you can make it with two objects again, but one that looks like a letter, right? So you have to make sure you outline that letter form first and then you put it in that shape to make that compound path. Okay. Um, so, you know, explore compound paths because you might find it's helpful and it's a fun thing to play with for um, different things. Okay, so don't forget to save and I'm going to stop. So in the next video, we will look at the pen tool. All right, see you in a bit.